Motion denied. But think of that. As you see a shot of Kurt Nurmi and Jennifer Wilmont behind her, and there's Wilmont. They want it off the case at this point. I want to bring in Beth Karras. Knows this case inside out. Beth, former prosecutor herself and legal correspondent for us here at HLN. Beth, what more can you tell us? That surprised you at all, first off. Well... You know, it sounds to me as though they did not know that Jody Arias was going to give a local TV anchor an interview minutes after the guilty verdict, and maybe that's uh, what's going on here, and they were just c kind of breaking ways with her, and they're upset with her, or maybe they knew it, and they advised her against it, and she did it anyway, because the timing of it is really strange. I mean, here we were four months into this trial, and all of a sudden they've, they've moved to withdraw. Well... It's probably related to the interview. However, it's no surprise that the judge denied it. I mean, they're not going to start all over again dismissing this jury, getting new counsel, getting them up to speed just for the final phase of the case. Here we are at the 11th hour, and the interview you're talking about, it, what, 20 minutes <clears throat> after the verdict, she goes on with KSAZ. Right. Troy Hayden gives the interview, and among other things, she said that uh, she wanted to die. That's the ultimate freedom. So uh, 